Right everyone, so welcome back to Kitty Love. Kitty Love. I am just going to pause this a second. So autoplay, I'm gonna turn this off for a start. Oh I did fucking stop it. It's so hard to control this thing, it's a story. There's no fucking playing. But can I fuck stop it from autoplaying? So Kitty Love part three we're on to now. So how far we're into the story. So from part two, the end of part two, we were trying to foil a catnapping. Which I think we did. Kohei came to save us. And the grumpy police officer was there. And yeah, I think that's where we got left off. So we, we delved into some deep dark shit in the last episode. Like, fucking her past and everything came out and she lost memories and blah. So it's getting some into some like proper grisly shit right now, I'm telling you. Um, you still can't sleep? Kohei, well, something happened. Oh, he must be tired too, but he doesn't seem so. I wondered if he was just not telling me. I remember what I decided last night when I was in Kohei's arms. Oh, his big, beautiful arms. Listen, Kohei, do you know what happened to the cat who disappeared from the cat cafe? Disappeared. Kohei opened his eyes, surprisingly. It's the time to tell Kohei. The cat disappeared. <laughs> I want to know what happened. You know, I remembered. Are oh, you telling me you remembered what happened when we were kids? You remember when we heard about the cat disappeared? <laughs> remember about the cat disappeared? Y yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's exactly like that. Kohei looked at me, worried. Oh no. I want to like cats again. I am happy I was able to remember. I forgot about my memory with you too. Don't worry about me. Oh, look at his sad little face. I don't want you to suffer because of the memories in the past. I can't keep on running away from them either though. I should face this too. A cat disappeared. Like, it's not like you got your face smashed in. I was able to, over to, to overcome this because you're next to me. But this was a long time ago. Kohei spoke about... Uh, Kohei spoke again after a few seconds of silence. You were worried about the cat that had disappeared, right? Y yeah. There were few cases of kidnapped cats in this town. I think that cat was stolen too, but the suspect was arrested yesterday. Yes, justice! I have just spoke to the policeman in charge. The cats will be rescued as soon as they find the base. <laughs> the base of operations where they steal cats from all around the city. Oh, I see. That's good. I felt relieved. Hey, why don't we go back to our hometown when we have our next day off? Together. Oh! <gasps> God, like a date. Together? Going home home, you mean? <laughs> home home? No, not home. Not home home. Or home. Just home. I want to go to that park. The place where we were taking care of the cat family. It's still there. It hasn't been demolished or flattened to the ground. The park. <gasps> like date central. You don't have to if you don't want to go. But I just wanted to go with you. Oh, he wants to be with you. Of course, why not? I haven't been back for a few months now, so it'll be good to go back. I want to see the places we used to go. The elementary school and the sweets shops. I would love to go to the sweetie shop. Kohei looked relieved when he saw my smile on my face. Okay then, let's go. To the places of our childhood. Oh, I feel so nostalgic. Finally, my day off, Kohei and I went back to our hometown. Look, the shop in front of the station has changed. Oh, new shop? Kohei, when was the last time you were here? Do you come back here often? Hmm, well, I haven't been back for at least half a year. Probably one year ago. For that long? I don't have reason to go back. My friends left this town anyway, and my parents call me often. It's not as if your parents are a reason to go back. I see. In that case... I missed this town after a long time, and I am happy that you came with me today. Yes, I am happy that we came here together. Really? Thank you. So polite. It has been a while since I saw Kohei smiling naturally. My heart jumped a little. Probably. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, are we at the wrong place? No, this is it. It's a sweet shop that everyone went. That everybody went. It doesn't look like a sweet shop to me. That's right. 
It was close. It was close to our school. It's little sad. <laughs> I'm sorry there's like two translators. One who was like really fucking trying his hardest. And then the other was just like, nah, that's close enough. You ate a lot of those sweets, you fat fuck. The one with little pink sweets that look like a mochi. Oh, you mean cherry flavoured sweets, sweets wrapped one by one in the plastic case. Koi and I looked at each other and laughed. <laughs> yeah, those ones. I remember those ones. Look, this one hasn't changed at all. Remember when I was in the first grade? You and your mom waited in front of the school gate. You remember a lot about it back then, don't you? I was so surprised, I thought. Why the kindergarten kid is here? Kohei reminded me of my memory. Oh, hang on. Kohei reminded me of memories from a long time ago. I remember I was waiting for him to come out from school. I cried so much because I wanted to go to the elementary school after you entered the... You wanted to see me. Yes, my mum didn't know what to do anymore, so she took me there once. <laughs> she just didn't know what to do! You haven't changed at all since you were a kid. Well, she fucking has because now she hasn't got time of day for you. Are you trying to say I'm shell selfish? I'm shellfish. Kohei broke into a smile despite my worries. Maybe, but I admired that since we were kids. Thank you. Oh god, the thank yous are just ridiculous. Kohei smiles a lot today. I'm glad I came back with him. I wanted to come back here with you all this time. I was thinking of asking you since we moved to the same town. I didn't know that. I will never forgive that man. What? Oh, but if we came back here because of that incident, then I have to thank the cats. <laughs> All praise to the cats. Oh, the man that abducted them. Right, get you. Yes, you're right. I was able to get closer to Gohei again since I started turning into a cat at night. Let's walk around a little bit more. Yeah, by the way, I want to go there too. Go where? We went around so many places. The shrines we used to play at, the bamboo forest where our hideout was. It was full of memories we had when we were children. <laughs> Not just a child, plural, when we were a children. And also saw bamboo forest, we just had a couple of trees. We should go to the park soon, it's already late afternoon. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> yes, I want to remember about the cats we were taking care of. We were gathering bread for Shiro, didn't we? Yeah, I took the bread from the school lunch. You were yelled at when you tried to bring it from home. <laughs> Stealing bread. We tried our best to take care as a kid. That's because you were with me. I... <gasps> Koi stared at me and stopped. Oh, he was going to say something there. Koei? What does that mean? Hey, Koei? We turned back at the voice. A well-built woman walked towards us with a surprised expression. A fatty. M ma oh Mom? <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> What's this all about? Coming home without saying anything to me? Go his mother. You don't even phone your mum. I didn't plan to see you. Oh, that's cold. I didn't plan to see you. How can he come back to your hometown without visiting your home? That's unbelievable. Oh? Kohei's mother looked at me interestingly. Is this the girl? Your girlfriend? <gasps> well, I am. What? What? She came to our home many times when we were kids. You don't remember? Huh? Oh, oh, yes, right. Girls are really difficult to recognise when they grow up. They all look exactly the same. <laughs> Hello, long time no see. So, how long have you been dating? What? <laughs> Awkward. Go, he jumped in front of me immediately, like he wanted to hide me from his mother, in case she tried to sit on me. How can you think that? We just came back, our hometown together. That's all. Oh, look at her frustrated, look at her frustrated face. Well, I have heard you two live nearby, and you two are here together, but you are not visiting your home, so I thought you two were on a date. Me too, I thought we were on a date. Um, we are very sorry, this is just a coincidence. We've only decided to come back together. It's a coincidence that we planned to do together. It doesn't make it a coincidence. When I said that, Kohei's mother sighed with a sad expression. Mm. That wasn't really a sigh, that was a grunt. 
Really? Too bad. You're beautiful and I would have welcomed her. I love your Bob. Gohei never introduced me to his girlfriend. That's why I'm worried about him. I would like to see my grandchild at some point, but if he doesn't even get married, he has a kid! Either that was really, it's really bad grandma, let's face it. He doesn't have a kid. <laughs> Mom, just stop it right there. You never tell me anything. I think I can ask you something like this. Kohei's mother said that and made a few steps toward me. Oh no. Yes? Is it really true that he doesn't have a girlfriend? Or is he hiding it from me? Well... Mom, stop it. I'll contact you again. Let's go. Ooh, that's it. End of discussion. Kohei pushed my shoulder after saying that. What? Are you leaving already? I'm sorry. Good to see you. <laughs> but bad vibes. Kohei kept on walking without saying a word. Maybe he didn't like to be asked about his relationship. Do, do, do. Wow, nothing has changed here. The swing and the slide look a little bit rusty though. Have you had your tetanus shots? My mom told me that before. Since the playground is old, they are planning to renew it. I see. I guess it'll look more different when they replace everything. I went close to the slide I used to play with when I was little. I touched it. Got tetanus. It looked way smaller than I remembered. When I touched it, I heard a creaking sound. I got more tetanus. I'm sorry. My mum talked to you like that. It probably wasn't pleasant to hear it. She's always worrying because I am the only child. Oh. Been there. Still there. I see. You must be really precious to her. Anyway, are you dating anybody? Whoa. Straight out. No hesitation right there. Kohei sat down on the swing next to mine. The rusty swing moved a little. Kohei sat down on the swing next to mine. The rusty swing moved a little. Fucking broke. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. When I looked at my side, Kohei's face was more serious than I thought. I immediately looked away. Couldn't bear it. Is there anybody you like? Oh, he's fucking digging it. He's, he's getting the little shovel and he's fucking digging. Well. Oh, oh. Oh, shall I play Kai? I don't want to change the topic. No, that isn't. Oh, see, if this was me, I would want to play Koi, so I'm going to go, I do not know. Yes! Can you actually get it down? Don't think you can get a diner. Downer. A diner? I don't know. What do you not know? What you've just asked me, I don't know if I like anyone. I don't know whether I like somebody. Go ahead and ask anymore after my ambiguous reply. Oh, that's a big word for a risky translation. Sorry to ask you these. He had that sad smile on his face again. He's got no smile. He's just, just sad. He's a sad little boy. I wanted him to smile like he did earlier, like when we were walking around in the town. What should I do? Stroke him. What about you, Kohei? Oh, me? You like yourself? Yeah. Do you have any girlfriend or a girl you like? The swings were getting colder, and it's almost the sundown. Sundown. Oh, oh, there's me in the picture. Oh, look at my, look at my beautiful Bob. I really don't know. I don't really know where to draw the line. <laughs> the fact that, oh, hang on, the fact that is it from worrying about someone or I keep thinking about that person. Oh, it's getting difficult now. Grandma's getting really hard. Don't you get excited? Do you feel it in your bones? I don't know that either. I think I'll be selfish if I be possessive when my feelings aren't sure. I don't want to be possessive of her. Ah. You look pale. Are you okay? Without noticing it, I was relying on Kohi again. Oh, you're going to turn into a cat in front of him, aren't you? I deliberately thought that he would decide for me, even if I don't think much about it. I've always been depending on you, haven't I? Every time when I'm having a hard time, he'd always be here to support me, all the time. <laughs> What's wrong now? For fuck's sake, there's everything wrong with you. This is not working. I promised myself that I'll tell him how I feel. Did you? When? Well, Kohei, I... Hey, what's wrong? I have a weird shaking throughout my entire body. <gasps> oh, shit's gonna go down. This feels like... I am sorry, Kohei. I have to go now. I stood up from the swing. Then I ran outside the park as fast as possible. 
Oh, why did you do that? What happened? Wait. Hey. I ran without answering to Kohei, but I didn't hear him chasing from behind. Oh, no. I have turned into a cat. I hope no one was around. Why didn't you fucking do it in front of him, you dafty? Kohei probably is upset and he must be hurt too. I should apologise to him properly. <sighs> He's your friend. I wandered around a little bit. I'll go home earlier and send him a message with apology in the morning. Huh? Would I be able to go home, really? Yeah, see, exactly. You moron. The distance between my hometown and the city I'm living takes more than an hour. More than... <laughs> Lived an hour with like shorthand with taking the express train. There is no way I can go back as a cat. See, you've fucked it up. The only way I can go home is exactly using them again. Meow. What? Where did you? Kohei held me up in surprise. Whoa! It's really you, right? How did you come here? Meow. I rubbed my head many times against Kohei's neck. Oh, did you come here to comfort me? Did you know that I was sad? Thank you. I feel better now. Kohei started walking with me in his arms. My apartment is quite far from here, but do you want to go back with me? I am sorry, Kohei, to depend on you again. You are very warm. Ah, Snuggles. He always talks well to me, but he didn't talk much today. What's Kohei thinking? Is he thinking about me? About other girl? Or... No matter how hard I think, it was difficult to understand Koi's feelings. He probably doesn't know his feelings either. I think he does. And so do I. What? You don't know your feelings. I think that means you don't know your feelings. I was thinking about him while I was in his arms. Maybe I knows what he want. <laughs> oh, I knows what he want. But I didn't want to know the feeling towards Kohei. I was scared to know the feeling towards him. Just the fear of knowing the feeling towards him. You are very quiet today. Did anything happen to you too? Meow. Because I started to have the feeling towards him while I was a cat. Whoa, so you only like him when you're a cat. You only get the warm fuzzies when you're a warm fuzzy cat. <gasps> Episode 6. I don't know how many episodes there are. Will he ever find out that she becomes a cat? Is Kohei coming today? I kept on thinking about Kohei in the weekday afternoon when it's quite empty. It's always fucking empty. It's a flower shop. Since I left him at the park like that the other day, I haven't seen him as a human. It's understandable, considered my behaviour. <laughs> I took the mobile phone out of my pocket. No missed calls. No news text messages. I've just got no one. I put my phone back in my pocket. It was the first time he didn't reply to my message. No matter how long it would take, he always replied. Oh... <gasps> Ding dong! When I heard the door opening, I looked up. <gasps> it's a person in suits! Is that Kohei? I'm sorry, I'm looking for some flowers to bring for my client. Ah, oh, okay. The man who came into the shop didn't look similar to Kohei at all. Aww. Well, what is this bouquet for? Um, I just said I need to bring it for my client. Alright, no bad, I'm just trying to make conversation. Oh, I am so sorry. What am I doing? I told Kohei that I'll focus on my work. <laughs> oh, I concentrated on the customer in front of me. Mm. Oh, he's gone. Thank you very much. Hey, this weirdo, Takuma. Takuma pre appeared from the back of the shop after he saw the customer left. I saw you earlier. You should listen to your customers properly. Did anything happen to you? I fucking tried. He tried to make a nice conversation. Oh, who's the bouquet for? Is it for your wife? Are you going to be proposing? Is it for your mum? Did someone die? But no, he just fucking shot me down. Oh. Takuma suddenly made a serious expression. <laughs> oh, that's a serious expression. Recently you are not focusing on your work, and your face is really pale. Have you fucking seen your face recently? You look like you've milk. I am worried about you. If you want to, I'll be here to talk. Thank you very much. This is so wrong. Not only to call here, but I am causing trouble for Takuma too. God, stop whining. I am okay. It's something personal. I'll make sure to focus on my work when I am here. I'll change the water to the flowers now. I see! Ha ha! 
let me know if anything happens. Yes, thank you very much. I made a smile for my worrying boss. <laughs> Always worrying, Arit. I am sorry, Takuma, but this is not something I can tell to other people. There was one person you could tell, but you fucking blew it. I mean, this is something other people should... This is something other people should ever know. <laughs> Never know, I think you meant. Especially Kohei. I cannot let him know about this. Kohei probably thinks he hasn't seen me for several days. He doesn't think it, he knows he has. Well, for me, I'm seeing him every night. Oh, as a cat. I'm not feeling well, because I'm staying at Kohei's place until I turn back to humans every day. <laughs> until I turn back into a humans. I sighed and started changing the water in the bucket. I've been together with him until sunrise today too. Wait, sunrise? When I think of it, I feel like I'm staying as a cat longer. <gasps> oh, no! Watch out! Oh, fucking... Look at that face! <gasps> he's pissed! Oh, he's going to kick your ass. Watch out! Huh? <laughs> Wah! A lot of documents in a flower pot was falling from the shelf towards me. I am hurt. What? Eyes hurt? How's? When I opened my eyes slowly, Takuma was covering my body. Whoa! Step back there, mate. The bucket you kicked. Fuck! I, I hate it when they zoom in like that. You just don't expect especially with that face. The bucket you kicked bumped into the shelf because you were daydreaming. Are you okay? How high did she kick that bucket? I, I am okay. I am sorry. I was trying to step back from Takuma. That moment... <gasps> oh no! Koi stopped, stood by the entrance looking surprised. <gasps> Shit! K Koi! I stepped back from Takuma's body quickly. <gasps> oh, he thinks I'm having it off with the flower dude. I am sorry. I interrupted. I came round here for my client. See you. Oh no! Interrupted! It's not what you think! No! Kohei left the shop immediately. No, I want you, not Flower Man! I was finally able to meet him when I'm human, and he ended up misunderstood. That's Kohei, right? Maybe he wanted to see you. He left here immediately. But is he okay? I don't fucking know, because he ran away! Um, I don't think so. Well, nothing. I am sorry. Don't apologise! He started collecting the documents on the ground next to Takuma, who couldn't understand what was going on. Kohei was probably just worried about me, but I don't know what his true feelings is. What his true feeling is. I don't even know how I feel towards him too. Oh god, this is like a whirlpool. The scattered documents can organise once you collect them from the floor and put it in order. I hope I can organise my feeling that easily. Right, so I'm just going to reread that again. The scattered documents can organise once you collect them from the floor and put it in order. Is that him talking or is that me? I hope I can organise my feeling that easy. <sighs> Don't know who's talking. When I got home, I quickly picked up my phone. I have to tell Kohei that what he saw today was just an accident. He might not reply, but he would at least read the message. Okay, send. <gasps> no! No! Fuck! What? I'm already a cat? I think I'm transformed into a cat as soon as the sun goes down. Wasn't that not the deal originally? I was able to send the messages, but I can't use my phone when I'm a cat. Even if I get a reply, I can probably say tomorrow morning. <laughs> I can probably say tomorrow morning. I should go to see Kohei, right? It would be weird if I don't go today. I mean, pfft. I wanted to make any kind of excuse to see Kohei. I couldn't hide myself from wanting to see. If I can't talk to him properly when I'm human, then I'd rather be a cat and stay with him. Well, that's your fucking answer, isn't it? I hurried my, I hurried my the way to Kohei's place. Whoa! Oh, he's gonna have moved out, isn't he? Meow. Kohei had been opening the little window on the corridor. Wait, hang on. Kohei had been opening the little window on the the corridor for me around the time I arrive. Oh, he usually welcomes me when I come. He's not here yet. The little window is open, though. You, you came. You are cute today, too. Oh, he's fucking got no chance with a human, so he's gone with a cat. He smiled at me with red cheek. In his hand, he was holding. Oh, fucking run. Run now. A beer? And there are some empty ones on the table, too. Oh, I fucking knew he's too good to be true. He's a drunk. I can smell of alcohol in the room already. It seems like he's been drinking them quite fast. Meow? You don't like the smell of alcohol, right? That's 
not what I meant. Meow was gimme. It was the first time I see Kohi drinking alcohol in his apartment. He told me he wouldn't drink unless he's out with people. Is he really okay? Meow, meow. Huh? What? I am okay. They always make me drink during company's parties. Um, don't think this is a party. Then why are you drinking today at home? I slowly move toward Kohe. We've turned him to drink. Oh, oh, you're coming? Don't I stink of alcohol? I don't even care about that. Kohe, what happened? You happened. Kohe looked a little bit drunk, but he hugged me with a gentle smile. Oh, you should drink this one. Do you want you milk? <laughs> There's no correct way to say that without correcting it. Yow. Good. I'll prepare for you right now. Kohe smiled and stood up, but he looked like he's forcing himself to smile. He's completely different from the other day. The smile that Kohe showed me in our hometown just before talking about relationship is... I stretched my back and looked at the desk from the chair I was put on. There are so many empty cans, huh? In the shadow of the beer, there is something blinking. Is that? I got you a milk. Oh, I want to know what it was. Meow, meow. Kohi lifted me up lightly and put me on his lap as usual. Come on, drink it. And just fucking gets the milk and just throws it in her face. Meow. Kohi grabbed the bowl in his hands and brought it closer to my mouth. A usual drink until the bowl was clean. That was... Meow. Uh, you don't want it? Are you full? The blinking object on the desk. What is it? I lifted my head from the bowl and stretched again over the desk. You cannot drink beer. No, that's not what I meant. I stretched my neck over the empty cans, the blinking object with the screen of Kohei's mobile phone. I knew it. This is... Hey, are you looking at the phone? I don't think you understand because you are a cat, but... Kohei looked at me and laughed. Ha 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 ha. I am sorry, Kohei. That's not something you stare at. I'll use it. So can I have it back? What? Then Kohei grabbed his phone from the desk embarrassingly. I didn't read it, right? It's quite a stupid message. Oh, <gasps> Bitch! Meow! Did Kohei put this message all these time? That message was... You might thought Takuma and I were hugging together earlier, but you've misunderstood us. It was just an accident. I know that. You should too. Kohei said that and laughed. I know that, but why is she telling me by text though? Because she likes you. Is Kohei laughing because he's drunk? If what he meant is true then, why does he look so sad? Then I started to worry more, and I started to drink alcohol until now. My message was the reason. Oh, we turned it, we definitely have turned to drink. The only thing I could do for him as a cat is to stay with him. Ha 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 ha. It's nothing that you have to worry about. Kohei stroked my body gently. Oh, Tried to purr there, that failed. They say that cats understand humans' feelings. I really think that you understand what I am saying. Meow! My heart stopped at Koi's word. <gasps> the pacemaker! The batteries ran out! If Koi finds out the truth. Let me reply to this email one second. Can you check if it looks okay? Hang on, I thought you'd text. What? Koi wrote a short message. I wrote it. Have a look. He placed the phone in front of me. Hmm. I froze, and while Kohi stroked me, he laughed a little. I know it was an accident, but I don't want other men to hug you. Oh, I've, what happened to the whole thing of being not possessive? Kohi? If he had spoken that word in front of me, it would make sense more. <laughs> Kohi, is that live? Well, I cannot send it like this. No, I wouldn't. What? Kohei made a sad smile again and deleted the message immediately. Kohei put the phone on the desk and murmured something. Probably I was jealous at her boss, I mean. I, but I don't even know my feelings towards her. I don't know if it's love. Meow. I thought I was just taking care of my childhood friend until now. Kohei, he's been wondering about the same this I've been wondering about. Is this true love or what? Ha ha ha, you're a cat, so you wouldn't understand this. I shook my head fast. <clears throat> That's not true, because I got to know more about Kohei after I turned into a cat. That's why I started to have this feeling. Oh, 
something giddy caddy. Oh, with the alcohol in the background. I wasn't able to hold myself anymore, so I clung to Corey's chest. Oh, do you want to be hugged? Even though he looked surprised, he took me closer and stroked my head. What if I turn to a cat? Eh, turn to a human. What if I turn to a human while I'm in his arms? <gasps> when I am cat, I know how it feels like to be hugged by him. You are very cute today. That's okay, though. I want to be with someone today. Aww. When I am a human, Koi and I are nothing more than childhood friends. But when I'm a cat, it's bestiality. Neither of us don't even understand if they have feelings for each other, and I wonder if we ever will. I know it's very easy between a human and a cat. Kohi gently rubbed my ears. Oh, have I chose a dud one? Is it only like one that you can get like truly romantic with? Meow. Hmm, is it enough? Do you want to drink milk again? Meow. I am sorry, Kohi, but I am, I am the only one who knows this. Should I tell my feelings for him too? But if I tell him that I don't know whether it's love or not, nothing would change. Of course it fucking would! I'm so happy you came today. I would have kept on drinking if I was alone. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck. Kohi murmured. Meow. What? Are you going to lick me? Haha, <laughs> you're tickling me. Oh, look at him. When I'm a cat, I can't talk, but I can stay much closer to Kohi than, I'm, than when I'm human. I finally went back to human. I should stop preparing for work soon. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Oh, never mind, we're back. Oh yeah, the phone. The first thing that I looked for is a phone that I sent a message to Kohei. <laughs> I wonder if he replied. When I was there, he didn't reply me. Ah! There was a reply from Kohei. I opened it timidly. Just this? No dick pics? But there was just one sentence. I can imagine Kohei saying this with his usual expression. I don't really care. <gasps> oh, heart! Smashed! Tiny pieces! Should I reply? Oh. Oh, what do I do? I can't not reply. Should I say I'm sorry? Or should I say I care though? I care though! I care though. Up, up. Yes! I care. I do care though. Send. I'm not lying when I say I do care. Actually, I care too much. Oh, he already replied. That was fast. Oh, fuck. I opened the message and there was only one line again. Really? He doesn't want to say more about this? It was really hard to understand Kohi's feeling from these few words. Oh, we're getting closer. But I didn't know what else I could have said either. I put the phone in my work bag. Well, that's a lie because you had two other options. Until now, Kohi's reply was always really short. She barely communicate when he wanted to say. And that was all. However, oh, that sentence. I remember the expression Kohei had yesterday. I wonder how many messages he wrote and he deleted. What I've seen while I was a human was only the surface of Kohei. Just scratching. If I stay as a cat, would I be able to stay with Kohei forever? I don't even have to go for work. Oh, work? I suddenly looked at the clock on the wall. Oh my god! I'd be late if I don't hurry. I wish to get ready for work. I'm not rushing because I was replying to Kohei's message. What? But I can tell that the time I'm staying as a cat is getting longer. If it gets longer, I won't be able to work anymore. <gasps> Heavens above! There was only one person who knew about my transformation. Actually, only one cat. One dick of a cat. <gasps> Chapter 7. <gasps> oh, it's, we've got to be getting close to the end now, guys. I think it was around here, where I met the black cat that cursed me. Fucking bitch. I was wandering around the... I was wandering... No, hang on. I was wandering around the park when I turned into a cat after work. I have to find the black cat to ask him why the time of being cat is getting longer. If the time I spend as a cat is getting longer, I won't be able to live as a human anymore. But how can I meet the black cat? Should I try call for it? Meow, meow. There was a cat walking from the corner. The one that appeared in front of me was... This dick! Aha! You've definitely learned how to act like a cat. Meow, meow, meow! You don't need to say. Don't speak! You're here to ask me why the time you're spending as a cat is getting longer, right? The black cat moved his tail gracefully and told me what I wanted. How did you know? 
I can understand what you're thinking about immediately. I came here because you were looking for me. You can mind read? That's not possible. Now you are doubting me saying, that's not possible. Meow. He's a mind reader. Apparently he can read my mind for sure. So I had no choice but to have a conversation with him. Well, if I stay as a cat longer than this, I won't be able to work anymore. Hmm, you shouldn't be worrying about your whir. <laughs> no one should ever, ever, th this serious message here. No one should ever worry about their whir. If you do worry about your whir, contact your local whir agency. If you don't break the curse soon, you will end up as a real cat. No! Unfortunately, this kind of curse cannot be reversed once casted. <laughs> Sorry, like, talking about cats, my brain automatically thought Castin was castrated. Unfortunately, this kind of curse cannot be reversed once castrated. <laughs> Even by me. The black cat said that with straight face. Because he's a cat and he's got no facial expressions. Well, well. Ha ha ha. You are turning into a real cat faster than I thought. What? Why? There are several reasons. You are very unstable right now. Because you cannot decide if you really like that person or not. That's... Kohi's face appeared in my mind. Ha-ha! That's what I thought! Meow! Was he able to see Kohi too? The black cat put a smirk on his face. Bitch that he is. Another thing is, you like being a cat lately. Meow! I froze at the cat's words. I made a few steps back. You see, even your behaviour is getting similar. You progress to be a cat. Both of the body and mind with your own choice. <laughs> my own choice? That's not true. I imagined Kohei hugging me gently when the black cat told me. Oh, actually, that time I was... It seems like you remembered. You desired to become a cat. I enjoyed my time with Kohei because I don't have to think about my feeling and just get spoiled. Oh, what a bitch. The black cat turned his back when he saw me being astonished. The curse is only reacting according to your desire. Everything was your own choice. See ya! No! And he's gone. Fuck. I knew that I was dependent on Kohei. I even know his feeling and still depended on him. I want to see him. Just for a little bit. I don't have to stay until morning. While I was telling myself in excuses, I walked toward the window he always left open for me. But the window on the balcony is closed. Oh, he's going to be passed out on the floor, isn't he? Like fucking in his own vomit. The window that was always open was now closed. And the curtains were too. Kohei. The room was dark, so there was probably no one inside. Did he go somewhere? He always tells me the day before when he is going to be late the next day. There was no point for me to stay here if Kohei was not at home, so I walked back home. Oh, like a sad kitty cat. The next morning. Oh, he's going to go missing. Oh no, he's going to go missing. He's going to disappear. Meow. I stretched a lot with the sunshine. I turned into a human again. I was shocked at my words. Oh, I'm fucking human. How? Did this happen? I said, turned. I'm supposed to be a human soon. I started getting ready for work. Oh no, he's gone, he's left. Okay, my phone. Huh? When I looked at my phone and I was surprised. I got an email from Kohei. Recently he hasn't been sending me any messages, so I wonder what's going on. I mean, it's particularly weird they send you an email, not a text message. I nervously opened the message with no subject. Do you have time after work today? There is something I want to talk to you. What? Something I want to talk to me? <laughs> I wonder what it is. Is it grammar class? I couldn't understand how Koi would think. Maybe I could have understood if he was home last night easily. After work, I only have a limited amount of time until I turn into a cat. Hmm. I was about to stop typing the rejecting messages, but I stopped my finger. Bad finger! Oh! I finished work early today. I'll have time until the sundown, so I can spend a few hours with Kohei. Good. I guess Kohei, remember that? I told Kohei when we were in the train the day we went back to our hometown that I have a day I end my work really early once in a couple of weeks. He was being considerate. No, he's probably just got good memory. Oh, I disappeared in the end that day all of a sudden. I wrote that I have some time after work while I was feeling bad for him being thoughtful. But I also have another plan after, so I have roughly an ooh. Okay, this should be good. I exchanged a couple of messages and we decided to be picking up after work. Picking me up? Ding dong! 
Long time no see, Kohei. Kohei came on time to the shop. I am sorry to bother you all of a sudden. No, not at all. By the way, what did you want to talk? Kohei couldn't really talk well. He couldn't really type well either. You still have another hour, right? Why don't we go somewhere before we talk? Yes, I do. Where are you talking about? <laughs> Anywhere. Is there any place you wanted to go? Um, Venice. What's going on with him? I thought about the place I wanted to go. Ah, uh, yes. I know where I want to go. When I told him the place I wanted to go, Kohei looked at surprised. Do you really want to go there? Yes, I really wanted to go with you there. Is it going to be the cat cafe? Okay, let's go. You really are strong. To the gym? Not at all. <laughs> Even though I denied that, Kohei still looked surprised. It's because you are here with me. Of course I cannot tell him that directly right now. It is a cat cafe! Ah, there it is! With all the two, no, three, there's a cat button in the bottom right corner. There it is! Meow! When we entered the cat cafe, there was Hime in a spot where I can find her easily. You look well. I am so happy. Meow! Don't you understand my feelings? Hime was clearly answering me. Kohei looked at me, worried. I am fine. That's the cat that was stolen, right? I am so happy she's okay now. Yes, a few weeks ago after the kidnapping she was really scared, but now she's better. I became happier when I saw Kohei smiling. I am so happy I was able to save Hime. Thank you so much for saving her, Kohei. I didn't do anything. <gasps> she dropped it in. That's not true. Oh, she's dumping herself in it. I was so surprised at Kohei's word that I spoke without noticing it. How did you know? I know everything because I was there. It was me, but another cat who saved her. There's a stray cat visit in my home. That cat found Hime. Oh, I see. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. This is my first time to hear from Kohei about me. I don't know how to react. It's really small. It doesn't have much strength. But it went against the thief. Actually, she reminded me of you. Small, puny, insignificant. R really? I am sorry. You probably don't want to compare you with... You probably don't want me to compare you with a cat. No, that's okay. I am happy that you were reminded about me when you saw that brave cat. That brave, beautiful, intelligent cat. Oh, good. I felt a guilt when I, when I look at Kohei's smile. Not worse than when you felt the guilt. That cat's me! So we have to be similar, but I'm happy that Kohei thought we were similar. Hey, Kohei, let's play a little bit with the cats here. Are you sure you're okay? I mean, you don't want to, like, fucking take a sit down and, like, drink a load of water with, like, five dyers a palm? I mean, are you, are you going to be able to fucking handle the cats? You worry so much. I want to know which cat you were playing with. Really? The cat I like is... Kohei's happily started to talk about the cats. I'm glad Kohei looks fine. I was worried about him last night because he wasn't at home. He must have had a sudden plan last night, right? He told me about the stray cat now, so I'm sure I can still visit him. And this cat is... Hey, are you listening? Hey, hey! Um, yeah, I am sorry. Can you tell me again? Cats are really cute, though. I am so happy I was able to remember my childhood's memories. Uh, next time, let's go to the cat cafe nearby my workplace. Um, sure, but don't like that one. Stinks of shit. Kohei nodded back to my suggestion. It's the same feelings I had when we were walking together in our hometown. This is the feeling I enjoy the most with Kohei. Until his mother walks in. I should say hi to the staff who came to the shop. I don't want to be rude. Don't worry, you've always been a bit weird anyway. Oh, fuck! What? That's so mean! We looked at each other face we looked at each other face and laughed. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't want to change our relationship. I really don't want to be awkward with him. We kind of already are anyway. It's almost time. Should we head back? Oh, yes! Your home is on the other side of the station, right? Is it okay with you if we were to take the street? On the side of the station? Hmm. I felt more relaxed when we act the same as before. I'll turn into a cat in front of him, please. I hope I can stay the same when I'm human or a cat. Kohei said that and walked faster toward the station. Oh, I thought Kohei wanted to talk about something. I hope he's alright. I couldn't ask him directly and I ran after Kohei. Doo -doo. Oh, he's gonna get hit by a train. Oh, here it comes. The railroad doesn't open quickly, huh? We should have avoided this road. I am sorry. <gasps> We're gonna get stuck. No, don't worry, but 
Recently I've been transforming earlier than before. I might just need to run again. Ding ding! I'm going to turn to a cat and get run over and squished on the railway line. Because of the train, Koya couldn't hear well. Our conversation stopped. Koya moved his lips a bit, but the train is passing again. Listen, there is something I want to tell you. Right now? I wasn't able to say it until now. But! What? what? Koya was facing me and looked serious. I felt quite tensed. Is this? I've decided to leave this town. I'll move at the end of the month. <gasps> no! Don't leave! Don't leave! What? No! It was clear that he wasn't joking, considering how he was telling me. I just couldn't believe what he just said. No, this was something I... I don't want to believe this. I went to the real estate agent last night and got a new home. Fucking, that was quick. No, that's why I wasn't at home last night. Why? You've just moved here. The new place is closer to where I work. That's not a reason to move. It's just kind of is a reason. And I should say something to change his mind. I love you. Um, oh, fuck. Um, this is a nice city. Your cat is here. I'm here. Oh. I'm gonna play on the human side because I'm fucking human. I'm here. I'm here. Love me. I'm here in this city too. Go here, looked away from me. I know that. But because you live here, I have to. What? No. Go here, didn't seem to change his mind. If I give up right now, I feel like I won't be able to see him anymore. Why don't you think about this a little bit more? This is happening too fast. Go here, sighed like he wanted to stop my words. So he shoved me in front of the train. Shut up! Oh, fuck, he's turned aggressive. We can still hear the sound of the railroad crossing. Railroad crossing. Koya took a step toward me. Oh my god, he is actually going to fucking push me, isn't he? Whoa! Why don't you want me to move? I kind of want you to move now, you freak. Koya was looking at me straight into my eyes. I wasn't able to look away because he had me by the throat. Of course I don't want you to move. Why? Why don't you want me to move? Well, I... I wasn't able to answer that question. I had no right to say that without knowing my feelings towards him. <laughs> the real road crossing finally opened. Koya looked away and stepped back from me. Thank you so much for today. I had fun. K hey. Koya was patting my head. Koya was patting me head with a gentle smile. He patted me head. It was the same way he did when we were a child. Good bye. He crossed the railroad and didn't turn looked didn't turn looked back once. I think Koya is trying to change what we went through together as a memory. I wasn't able to move from the railroad crossing. I stayed there until the moment I can feel myself changing into a cat. Then the train came and I got smushed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh he's moving away. Oh fuck. Fuck man. Right, I am going to end this here. This, this, this epic, like, fucking, just, oh, I don't even know what to say. Just, phew. Anyway, this is the end of part three. Probably part four might be the last episode. Um, shit's going to go down in this next episode. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Bye!